A long time ago, in a small village, there lived four friends, Ramu, Shamu, Kalu and Lalu. The first three friends had spent many years studying, so they were learned. Lalu, however, did not care for studies, so he was considered as a fool by everybody. One day, Lalu was sleeping during the day. Isn't he Lalu? Yes, indeed it's him. The lazy fool sleeping during the day. Though he's lazy, but he has a good heart. Yesterday only, I saw him helping the blind Shambhu Kaka. But what's the use? He is totally dependent upon his friends for everything. Ah! One day, all the four friends were sitting together when Ramu said, Friends, this village has nothing to offer us. Let's move to a big city. There is a lot of wealth there. Yes, you're right. We have spent so many years in learning. Now we must get reward for this. We three are knowledgeable and learn it. But what shall we do with Lalu? He is just a fool. Let's leave him behind. No. Why you want to leave me? After all, I am your friend. What will I do without you? The next morning, the four friends packed their bags and set off for their long journey. After traveling for a few days, they reached the last leg of their journey. Friends, we are at the last leg of our journey. And tomorrow, we will reach the city Mansa. Oh, that's great. Then we should put off the fire and go to sleep. Dear, we are at the edge of the jungle. Please let the fire remain, for it will keep the wild animals away. Yes, it's better to keep the campfire burning. <laughs> at last, he said something clever. I may not be clever, but I am practical. What is the use of being practical? When you possess no knowledge, no gold medals, no degrees? Leave him alone and go to sleep. We have to leave early tomorrow. In the morning, they started their journey towards the city of Mansa. And after walking for a few miles... Let's rest for a while. I'm feeling very tired. Okay, we'll take a break. You must be tired. After resting for a while, they resumed their journey. While passing through the thick forest, Ramu noticed something. Hey, look what is lying on the ground there. It's a heap of bones. This is a good chance for us to show the world how learned we are. No, no. We should first check out which animal bones these are. You just keep quiet, you duffer. I'll arrange the bones of this animal. I know how to fix the muscles, skin and other organs. Don't do this, my friend. These bones are of a lion. Why should I stop now? I must also have my moment of glory. to bring back this animal to life. Listen, Ramu and Shamu, I am the most knowledgeable. My friend, please stop all this. I know you are knowledgeable, but stop this madness. What will happen to us if this animal will be brought back to life? I am warning you, don't be fool, don't be foolish. <laughs> Then Kalu started chanting the mantras. And Lalu 
quickly climbed on a tree and sat there. And a sudden roar broke the silence of the forest. And the mighty lion had come back to life. Help! 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 And the hungry lion pounced on them, gobbled them up and wandered off the forest. Lalo climbed down the tree and looked at the remains of his dead friends sadly. Oh God, I warned you all and you all called me fool. My friends thought they knew everything but lost their lives as they lacked common sense. <laughs>